Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's cold out. It's still in the low 40s. I'm surprised these are moving at all in this little colony right here. Uh, it's pretty cold. The wind is blowing. I was watching to see if there's bringing in any pollen because the red maple up there is in full bloom. But it's just the wrong time of day because it's not warmed up enough. It's supposed to get up in the uh, mid 50s. And I thought about waiting then to make the video, but uh, I missed my Friday video, and I've not done that in a long, long time. So I'm trying to hurry up and get a Saturday video out real quick. And what I want to talk about today is our mini mating nukes. And we got a new style that we're selling now at Barnyard Bees that's, uh, that's easy to ship. And uh, it can come assembled or unassembled, however you like it. And, and we'll compare the two of our old style mini mate nukes compared to the new ones that we're selling now that is more economical for people to have shipped to them so let's take a look at them okay if y'all remember this is our old style right here it's made from advantech but it's very heavy and it we never really sold it unassembled i think we may have shipped off a few unassembled but uh these done really good we come out with these two frame mini mating nukes probably about five years ago and we used them for a year or two before we even started talking about them and because we we it was a trial we want to see how they done with raising queens so if you want to raise queens this you can uh in my opinion unless you're a humongous commercial grower those little bitty Many mate nukes are worthless to the common beekeeper, in my opinion. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that. Is because they are so small. If you don't stay on top of them really quick, as soon as that queen comes back and starts laying, it won't be long before, especially when she brings back her, her what they call a mating swarm, that will follow her back to the colony once she's mated, and it'll increase that hive even more. So and so they can fill up really quick and unless you have time to check them day in and day out several times a day because that's how they do in those big giant commercial growers is uh, they check them often and as soon as they see a pattern of eggs laid they pull them so that's one bad thing about the big giant commercial growers is about when it comes to queens because uh, they don't take a whole lot of time they see a, a small pattern of eggs and they pull them and they sell them. Which with us, what we do when we run these, you got two frames in there. We make sure she's got a good lane pattern before we pull her out and sell her. So now there's our old style right there. And right here is our new style. We have a company making these for us. And they do very well. They actually break down into three pieces. And that's what you'll get right there when you order these. You can get these assembled and unassembled. Uh, check them out at barnyardbees.com. Now, these are made very well. Look at the bottom board, how it's, it's uh, uh, recessed into the to this side piece right here. See how it's made? Uh, it's not just butt jointed. So these are made very good. And for mating queens, for, for the common beekeeper, and for people just selling a few, you know, queens a year, uh, even up to what, as many as we sell, and we sell a lot of queens, we use these. This is what we use. And very nice. I, I, I would advise anybody, even if you don't plan on selling queens, you a person, a beekeeper, should come to the point where they're uh, self-sustainable, and raising their own queens, doing their own splits, you wouldn't believe the money you would save if you would start doing that. If you would start instead of buying queens all the time or uh, actually start raising, so you build you some of these or buy you some of these here, barnyardbees.com. These are, uh, they're pretty affordable. And all you need to do is add a frame. You know, you can go back in our archive and look how we do splits with these. It's easy as pulling one frame out of another colony and I won't go in deep detail about it but it's pretty easy to start off with one frame of bees
and, a, and then put a, a starter strip or a full sheet of foundation beside it however you like to do it I do a starter strip and then there's many ways from there of making your queen so many ways you know if you all the way from advanced grafting to just pulling queen cells out all the way down to, to doing just a walk away split where it takes right at 30 days and that's where you pull a frame a fresh frame that has young eggs in it and because if you have young eggs you'll have three day old uh, larvae that, that will be in there that they can actually make a queen from so when, when you have eggs you know you're going to have from that stage up so it's as simple as that you can do a walk away split that means you, you put the frame in there you walk away from it 30 days later you you check it you should have a laying queen in 30 days now that's that's the easiest way to do a split a two or to make a queen now of course uh grafting is always the best if you're doing it at a high volume or cutting queen cells keep an eye on your other colonies as you see queen cells that are capped and uh you can cut those out and you can also insert that into with that frame and make your own queens there's so many ways if you would ever run these things you will understand you will never go back to any other way of raising queens these little two frame nukes are absolutely really good you you won't be disappointed if you get these things either you make make one of you know these or or if you buy these barnyardbees.com so that's what i wanted to show today um like i said it is really cold out actually there's yeah the bees they're just they're not moving much at all and i was up there looking at the pollen feeder and there's absolutely nothing at the pollen feeder of course if their bees aren't out much they're not going to be moving so so think about that uh it's just an idea you can see the difference between the two this is so much lighter and it can be shipped assembled or unassembled it's got a migratory top lid with it and uh the, the good thing about these right here if you uh, if you get too many queens or you don't need as, as many throughout the year you can always move these frames over into a five frame nuke and grow it out and so there's so many uh, these things are excellent too for swarms i don't i put the majority of my swarms that i catch into these little two frame nukes they do wonderful for swarms wonderful shake them down into that because most swarms aren't are not real big anyway now, when I do get big swarms, I'll use the five frame nukes or I've used the eight or 10 frames if it's necessary. But most of the time your swarms are not real, real big, you know, two to three pounds. And you, these are perfect for that. So think about that. And don't forget folks, please share our videos. Uh, beekeeping season is right around the corner. Uh, if you don't have your supplies, uh, check us out at barnyardbees.com. We have everything and anything imaginable at barnyardbees.com and don't forget click on the little bell please help share our videos like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees